Niall Wilson, an extremely accomplished athlete, Olympic medalist, and a huge YouTuber. Hey up YouTube, how you doing? Versus me, a full-time weirdo living in his van, living life as an experiment out of his comfort zone, in search of becoming the best he can be both mentally and physically. <laughs> the challenge? To beat him in his own game. And basically just have fun. I'm in full-time lockdown, have no friends. The challenge consists of the fastest rope climb, the longest handstand hold, max reps chin-ups, the longest plant hold, lastly sticking a flip. <laughs> so first off for you, we have got the quickest rope climb. Barefoot all day, baby. Here we are. Two, one, go. So a handstand competition, who can hold a handstand the longest, a fundamental of gymnastics, a very basic skill, we've spent plenty of time in this position, who is going to win? Last time I did this, I think I hit it around one minute. I'm happy if I just can beat my own record actually. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> Fuck, you saw that save? That's a happy man's face. My wrists are a spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Okay, and for the next challenge, we have chin ups, and the records for them are 31, 39, and 40. What are you made of, guys? Um, I saw the technique though. I'm gonna try and go for quality, but um, if I have to reach these numbers, I have to be start keeping like a fish. So. I think these are the ugliest pull-ups I've ever done. <laughs> Remember, quality over quantity. This is just for the challenge. <laughs> the guys did a straddle plants. Not gonna happen for me. So I'm gonna do a tuck plants. So that's like the easiest version of a plants. I think it's fair enough. I'm not a gymnast, so let's give this a try. And have fun, man. Enjoy the journey. So let's do this. Three, so the two, one. You have to lower the punch. Actually, 25 seconds. Really bad in comparison, really good for an average guy. If you're satisfied about your practice, you're a shitty practitioner. Stop and think. Being locked down, it's so easy to lose track of time. Overconsumption of useless information is probably the first trap. The lack of daily movement and the decrease in the quality of your health is probably the second. Never again will I take my physical freedom for granted. Here in Greece, you need written permission to do exercise outside right now. It's not about winning anymore. It's about getting up when you've fallen down. Suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret is what I say to myself.
Don't get me wrong here, I'm no expert. I'm just a guy who have set way many goals in his life and failed endless times. But one thing I've learned is that from motivation, you go to action and the actions lead to results. See, if you think that I learned the handstand by jumping through my mama's belly and landing in a perfect handstand, the answer is no. But what I did is that I failed again and again and again and tried again. Like Thomas Edison says, I haven't failed, I've just found thousands of ways that didn't work. See, this challenge was of course not about winning. <laughs> yeah, because you lost. But it was about doing the things I found was hard. The things that my inner voice always convinced me not to do. So don't go and do a gymnastics challenge, but go do a challenge about going against the voice that always settles you. If you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy the content, you know what to do. I appreciate you all and I will see you next week. Either you like it or not, cause showing up is what we do.